Hi there, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the Schema App Editor um, in order to get great SEO results for local business. The first thing that you're just going to do is you're going to log into Schema App and you're going to make your way over to the editor from your home page. From there, you're going to search for the class of data item that you're looking to create under local business. So in our situation, we're going to be using bar or pub as our example today is for Baker Street Station, which is a pub local to Guelph. So once I find the specific um, class that I want, I'm just going to click create. And from there, it's just going to look for a name. So we're going to enter a name. Um, it automatically populates the URI for me, so I just need to make sure that um, it matches what is on here. So I'm actually going to just copy the URL. I'm going to keep the anchor at the end, which helps to distinguish the data items, and then I'm going to paste that in there. Notice that it added the trailing slash. We need to make sure that the URI is accurate so that we make sure that the data item actually deploys to the page. From there, we're going to hit create. What you're going to see next is the required and recommended fields for the class that you've chosen as well as the other fields. So we're going to take our time here and we're going to create um, the different data items. So for the address, we're going to go to the website. We're going to find the address and I'm just going to copy this so I can use it later. And then I'm going to name this because it's looking for a postal address data item, Baker Street. to data item I'm going to choose postal address and then it's automatically going to populate the URL here and add the anchor to distinguish this data item for the postal address from the bar or pub data item when I click create it's going to show me the required and recommended fields for the postal address data item so what I like to do is just paste in the entire address and then move the parts to where they belong the locality in this case is the city the region would be the, uh, the province. So I'm just going to put everything where it needs to be. What we can do here for the address country is we can search for the country and we can actually use our search wiki function to find a Wikipedia or Wikidata link that um, best describes the country. So in this case, we're going to use this one here and we're going to click done. So now we've created the address data item and we can move down um, across the rest of the properties. So for the image one, we're just going to go onto the page and we're going to right click where we have an image and we're going to copy the image address. And as much as it's looking for an image object, we can easily satisfy that field just by pasting the URL and then clicking done. Awesome. So we're done the required fields and now we're going to make our way through the recommended fields. In this case, we don't accept reservations, so we're going to make this false. If you do indicate on your site that you do take reservations, then you can definitely um, change that to true. It is just a drop down. For aggregate rating, if you do have a rating listed somewhere on your site, on this case, there's no ratings. Um, but if you have something listed, then you would create an aggregate rating data item um, and populate it with the associated information. So the next is department. So this is something where, for example, you're a grocery store and then there's a bakery associated with it. Um, this is where you would create that connection. Um, it doesn't apply in this case, so we're going to continue down the line. Um, for geo, we're going to create a geo coordinates data item. So I'm just going to name it Baker. Once I've named it, I'm going to convert to data item. I'm going to make sure that this is geo coordinates, which is what I want. And then I'm going to click create. And what it's going to look for is latitude and longitude. So hopefully you already have those pre prepped. If not, you can use something such as latlong.net to grab those and then populate them. Once you've pasted them in, you can just click done. The next thing is the property has menu. So it's just looking for a URL link to the menu. So if I go back here, the menus are listed. So I'm just going to copy the link address and then I'm going to paste it in. I can add additional menu links using the plus on the side because they do have a couple. So we're going to copy this link address. And again, you're just pasting the URL and clicking done. 
So the next section here is going to be the opening hour specification. So hopefully you have that listed on your site um, and it shows. So you'll want to populate it for the different days. Um, you can also use this to specify your hours for holidays um, and other um, special events. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an opening hours data item. So and we're going to make it, let's say Monday to Thursday, convert to data item, create. And what you'll do is you'll just list the different days of the week that are included in this specific opening hour specification. So I'm going to do Monday, Thursday. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the closing time. So in that case, it was, we have to put it in military time. So 24 hour clock and opens. And then we're going to click done. What you can do as well is you can click here and you can add additional specifications for like other days. So we can do bigger hours, for example, Friday through Sunday, and then same idea, you would convert to data item, you would populate um, the different days and set the opening and closing hours. The next thing here is the price range. So it's just looking for you to use um, the dollar symbol to indicate the different range. So what you can do is specify it numerically, or you can just use the currency sign. So in this case, I can just do this and that should fit the range for the restaurant. Or we can just leave it like that. It really depends on um, what you're looking to specify in your particular case. So for review, just like with reg aggregate rating, if you do have reviews on your site, you can definitely create review markup. Um, it does say here that rec Google recommends adding at least one review. The last thing on this re recommended fields is just the phone number. So I'm just gonna copy the phone number here and I'm gonna paste it in. And it is looking for us to add the country code, done just like that. Awesome, so we've done the required and recommended fields. And now we're gonna address some of the other fields that we find are pretty useful for the local business type. So one of the things that we can do is use additional type to um, add additional context and clarity to the um, class that you've chosen. So yes, Baker Street Station is a bar or pub, but more specifically, it is a gastro pub. So what we can do is find a wiki link for a gastro pub, and we can copy that URL directly here into additional type. The other thing that we want to do is we want to specify the area served. So again, using Wikipedia, we can specify Guelph, for example, city in Ontario, and also just um, for a little bit of a broader kind of circle, we're going to use Wellington County. So same thing, we're just going to search and then we're going to find the relevant wiki link. The next thing that we can do is just continue to scroll down and find something that's relevant. So for example, currency is accepted if that's listed, the description. So if you have a description on the page, you can use that, or you can look at this page source and find the meta description. So if we go here, description, and use that for the description. As we continue to scroll, I believe there is an email on this page. So we're going to copy the email address, paste that in here. And then something else that we do want to fill out um, is the um, same as. So what the same as is, is the um, links to other things that represent um, the same thing as our site. So in this case, this would be our social media accounts. So what we can do is we can right click here on Twitter, copy the link address. And again, we're not creating data items. We're just pasting them in, done. 
and using the plus symbol on the side to add additional fields for that same property. So free. add as few or as many as you'd like depending on what's shown on your site. For serves cuisine we can put in English food because this is just text. And then something else that we can do is we can also add in the URL of the page. So again I'm just going to paste it in here but this time without an anchor. Um, if you have a slogan, for example, listed, you can definitely include that here. Um, something else that we can also put in is like payments that are accepted. So again, cash, credit, if that applies, you can pop that in there. Um, something else that we'll also add is the logo. So just like with all the other images, just right click, copy the image address and paste it in. Once you're done that, you can just click done. And then you can actually view your JSON-LD here and see the um, data item that you've created. And then you can also test it with Google. So that's a 